What's up guys, NG and Deceased back here with another Destiny video. So today the Destiny 2 reveal trailer was finally released at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I believe it was 6 p.m. UK time because of the time change over there. So, oh my goodness man, that trailer. Whew, I, I wasn't ready. I mean, I thought I was ready, but I wasn't ready. So, we saw multiple things that we could have possibly expected but then we saw things that i know for a fact i didn't expect i didn't expect to see lord shacks making a return i thought that they were going to take him out and just do straight crucible but it seems like they're going to keep him in and move him forward with destiny 2 so far it seems like everybody in destiny 1 in terms of vendors except eris morn and uh the queen i believe are not moving over um so I have some screenshots here that we're going to go over so we can break down this trailer. I couldn't actually put the video up here because apparently you can't get video onto PS4 even though they installed an update that brought that feature over, quote unquote. So I took screenshots and we'll just sit here and we'll break this down and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when I say that there were things that I definitely did not expect to see in this trailer. All right, so right off the bat, all the way into the back of this picture, you can see the tower wall. Now the tower wall was made to divide the city from the tower so that enemy forces could not enter the city if they ever decided to attack the tower. But apparently they have gotten to the tower and the city and now they're chasing down Mr. Civilian here and pouncing on top of Cade. Now I really like the design path that they took with this Cabal version of a thrall because it looks like something out of resistance if you ever played that back on PlayStation. And on top of all that, Cade is holding the Ace of Spades. Now as far as I know, nothing except our character design is carrying over, but that could possibly be the first clue that we have to letting us know that class specific exotics are carrying over. So we may see a Talalok in Destiny 2. Brace yourselves. Now, in the back of this picture, you can see that dual building foot soldier cabal, and you can also see that the phalanxes are making a return, and they have new and upgraded bouncy shields. Now, I'm really hoping that this thing does not reflect Omalone projectiles because those are energy based weapons, and I'm hoping that they don't reflect rockets because at that point, you won't actually have to worry about your freaking titan on your team popping a bubble up in front of you and catching you when you launch a rocket making you commit suicide but you're gonna have to worry about this guy jumping in front of you and reflecting the rocket right back at you and making you look like the newbiest guy on the planet also that dual wielding cabal is no longer speculated as a boss that's a foot soldier so we're gonna have to face him frequently so now you have a ray holding what seems to be a new style of vanguard shotgun um, as far as I know, the old shotguns didn't look like that. Maybe they did, but apparently the Vanguard have upgraded and they now own new shotguns. Also, over to the left of the screen, you can see that the Suro shotgun has finally made an appearance. So we may be seeing Suro shotguns all over the place. Who knows, depending on the archetype that they're in. And we may actually see a Suro sidearm. Uh, now you have a Cabal fleet. Now, this Cabal fleet happens to be led by the new enemy the new boss that we're going to face in the story which is this guy going by the name of gaul and he was actually called from the cabal at the beginning of the uh taking king story by the cabal that actually went and sent that outbound signal now the outbound signal went all the way out to the universe is the farthest reach of the universe and called the distant cabal fleet that brought that guy who is now raining hell all over the city also worth of interest this guy right here this the the guy the the black guy basically is part of the queen's command which is interesting to me because the queen's command has nothing to do with the vanguard we just had a truce to take out the same enemy so what in the world did zavala have to pull to get members of the queen guard to actually come help the guardians of the city defend themselves from the cabal or did the cabal actually end up making it to the reef too and dealing a hell of a lot of damage to the reef i mean that's actually really interesting and i'm interested to see how that story is going to pan out now here's my favorite screenshot mainly because i'm a hunter i main a hunter but this hunter is badass and this dude is holding 
what seems to be the newest form of either an Ohm Alone auto rifle or scout rifle. But look at that armor. Look at that armor and then look at that young little guardian down there. That That's a nice screenshot. That might be my new uh, channel banner. But that was my breakdown on this trailer. Now, next time I do a breakdown, I'll try to find a way to get the video in here so I can actually do the whole slow-mo. That way you don't have to strain your eyes looking at the pictures because my eyes are kind of strained. But I am actually determined to get this thing out. And I apparently the video just didn't want to cooperate with me today. Sorry about that. But um, I'm going to bring out some more videos later on today and telling some of the collector's editions and also the easiest method to beating the hard mode crota before next week's reset because i do realize that some people are struggling a lot with the oversoul having to come up after every single down on crota and i'm gonna remedy that i'm gonna fix that because i figured out the easiest way to do it so thanks for watching guys leave a like sub and a comment make sure to share the video because that does help the channel grow and I will catch you guys in the next video.